Okay, so instead of a wave, this looks more like a stingray. And now it looks like a small little tree. Which is not what we are aiming for. Hey, what's up, Big Beno Thirty Seven? Thanks for dropping by. Okay, so we are. Focusing on creating designs for a new enemy Which is why we are Doing pixel art in Photoshop Okay, and that is also why we are erasing and redoing the designs multiple times. So that we can arrive at a better design. Okay, so another way to have sharp edges on its left and right is to give it hands. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, but these hands would not look like your typical hands. Okay, but we will need to most likely we will need to create multiple versions of the hands as well as well. 
Okay, but before that, let's try to come up with a better design for the body. One, two, three. Okay, now it looks more like a crab, which looks nothing like a ra wave. Or what if we make it curve towards the outside? Okay, now it looks at least slightly better. Okay, let's erase the bottom part. Okay, we will try to make the bottom of its body sharp, so at least it looks good. Okay, let's fill up the center area.
Okay, by the way, if you feel that my voice sounds deeper than usual, that's because I might be falling sick. Okay, but my body is holding on strong. Okay, we will need to reduce the size of the eyes. Okay, so as to allow some breathing space for the rest of its body. Okay, so now the, if you look at this version, the left and right hands are huge. Okay, but in comparison is body is rather small. Okay, let's imagine that it is looking to its left. And now to its right.
Okay, this means that we'll need to decrease the size of the eyes again. Hey, what's up, Fat? Welcome to the White Sponge live stream. So currently, we are creating multiple versions for a new enemy's design in the new Ice World. Okay, so this is just one of the prototypes. Okay, for this floating enemy, okay, as you notice that it has no legs, so it will float and hover around. Okay, unlike the other or most of the other enemies, okay, most of the enemies walk around as they have legs. Or they bounce around. Okay, let's try having a different design for the eye. Okay, now this looks kind of creepy. Okay, what if we get separate the these two into two different parts?
Okay, so when you think of evil entities, okay, usually they are facial expression. Okay, it's somewhat slanted towards the center. So maybe we can try that. Okay, so let's erase all of this. Okay, now it is looking to its left. And now it is looking to its right. Okay, so what this new enemy does is that it will float around float or hover around depending on whichever you want to call it okay and once it manages to catch up with you okay touching it or rather when it touches you you will slow down as though you are getting a froze bite Okay, but we have to do something about the eyes. And by the way, this is just the third prototype. Oh, by the way, if you have anything then you are curious about, feel free to ask me anything and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth version. Okay, which means that we'll have to erase the body for a new prototype. Even though it is a new prototype, okay, notice that the top or the upper half of the body is almost always the same. 
Okay, it has that same circular half on the top. Okay, that circular half on the top okay, is to indicate that that is the head which usually is circular okay, even if it isn't a perfect circle sometimes it is still over in shape Okay, so for this next version Okay, let's see if we can make it as aggressively looking as possible 